it's Melissa here to do another soap tonight and I'm gonna start as usual with my setup um, oils already mixed I actually already have my powders in here which is my kaolin clay goat milk powder and colloidal oatmeal this is the last time I'm trying colloidal oatmeal if it doesn't smooth out I'm not using it I'm tired of fighting it and trying to get it smooth um, and also I've noticed that when I put the milk powders into the milk it gets too thick so those went into the oils as well uh, spoons and stuff, water for the for the blender, which is there. Lye water contains Tessa silk as usual, and milks, which is cream and coconut. Decided to stop fighting that one and just mix them half and half. Um, fragrance oil. This is going to be a really awesome one. I'll tell you about it in a little bit. And um, my colorants with the mixing bowls and scale, which I'm probably not going to scale, which I'm probably not going to use. Um, molds, put it all in, soap stuff. Okay, I also have a lot to talk about tonight, so this should be pretty interesting beyond watch me mix soap. So, I will be back in a minute, ready to get started. Okay guys, here's what's going down tonight. Our scent is called Deep Purple. It is a very deep wine, uh, effervescent berry wine scent. It is custom blended out of some fragrances that I had. And it smells really good. <coughs> Excuse me. The effervescent notes come through the most, but I think that that will mellow out some, and we'll definitely get some of the uh, the berry back in there. So I just mix this really quick. <laughs> okay, and my formula tonight is a little bit different than what I've been working with lately. Um, this is a basic four oil formula <coughs> instead of the luxury formula. And the reason for that is there's a lady here in town who I gave one of my soaps to and she really loved it. And unfortunately, I don't really have the exact recipe that I used for that one. And it's also not my favorite. So um, it's one of my favorites, but not the favorites. I actually averaged out a couple that I really liked to make a new formula, and this is it. So hopefully, this will come out pretty good. <laughs> I also decided a couple things about my formula. One is that I'm going to stop trying to fight the coconut and cream. I like them both. So I'm just going to use them both. It's pretty simple. <laughs> okay. Mix the milk in there. So some of the stuff I wanted to talk about tonight. The first thing I want to say is thank you to everybody on Facebook or from YouTube who found my channel and followed it. I've reached 400 subs or 200 subscribers now in about two months since I reached 100, so a little over one a day. Appreciate it very much. Thanks guys a lot. Really appreciate it. So I'm going to be having a giveaway. Um, watch for a video in the next couple days. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to give away yet. So, I'm still working on that one. And in goes the fragrance. Mmm, this smells really good. Oh no, it's just coloring. I was worried that might happen. Okay. Well, that is what that is, I suppose. Let's see what we can do with that, huh? Mixed up a little titanium dioxide. Throw that in there and hopefully offset this yellow a little bit. There was something else I want to talk about. I don't remember what it was though. Oh, well, it'll come back to me. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, well, we're just going to have to work with this as it is, I guess. If we give this one more blend, how that works. I've noticed that with the with the simpler four oil, it's just it's olive oil, coconut, palm, and castor. But the basic formulas really kind of um, do a better job of not tracing as fast. Uh, 
Yeah, that helped a little bit. Still pretty young. But I have learned not to overdo it with the titanium dioxide. the white portion to be the least, so that helps. All right, let's go and see what happens here. I have three colors, a very nice pink-red color. Oh. Yeah, the other thing was, um, I'm really excited because I found some, some things that I want. I've been wanting those plastic Pores that like Kathy from Soaping 101 has them, Katie White from Royalty Soaps has them, Amy Warden has them. They're basically just measuring cups, but they they're big plastic ones or they're four cup measures, and they have um, they're numbered. I think who else has them? Somebody else has them. Um, Jennifer from A and N Suds and Such I think is the other person who has them. Um, so yeah, anybody, everybody has them. I can never find them. I've heard people say, oh, I got them at the dollar store. Well, I don't think that's true because I never found them at the dollar store. And then Big R, which is the farm store in my town, had them. Or not in my town, the next town over. But anyway, they had them. And they're $5. I don't want to pay $5 for a plastic measuring cup. But my local grocery store had them, so I'm going to buy some this week maybe. And that will make me happy because I can measure out my soap by volume. I know you're supposed to measure by weight, but when you're trying to divide into parts, I think that volume's fine. Okay, let's see how this works out because the purple and the yellow is going to want to turn gray. Here's what I want. Let's do another teaspoon of purple. And let's do a teaspoon of purple in the blue. Let's see what happens if we blend those. white. 
maybe this is going to be another Poffin Glomp. Just when you think you got things figured out, right? Always comes back to haunt you. I love when I've been doing this for minutes at a time and realize that I have been off the camera. I am so sorry, guys. I was going to pray to the soap gods to keep the soap gremlins at bay, and I didn't do it. I guess that's what I get. Okay, let's do the purple top, because that's what I wanted. Oh, it's gotten thick. I was going to talk about where I'm at in my testing. Um, I said a couple weeks ago I was going to start getting a test, and I put that on pause. Well, it's back on because I have figured out with this one which formulas I want to reattempt and see which ones I like the best. And those are going to be the one that I'm going to send out to the test group to um, try out for me. Okay, we're getting brave tonight, and I'm going to try and stack this top. <laughs> Not something that I've ever excelled at. So I have eight formulas, and I need to buy a few supplies, but I think that I'll be ready to start testing by Christmas, hopefully before that, depending on how long it takes me to gather my other supplies. Gosh, this just looks horrible, doesn't it? I don't know why you guys tolerate me trying to do this. Right. That looks pretty good, actually. 
actually. Happy, happy. Mountain climb in there, that's what we're going to call that. Shake it down just a little so it's not so... Uh-oh. That's okay. This is the hot pink glitter because it's the only glitter I got. Okay. Here we have it, deep purple. I'm not sure the colors are going to be deep enough, so it might be called light purple. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and once again, it is a berry wine effervescent scent. It's a custom blend out of scents I already had. Ta-da! I think it looks a little brown on the screen. I'll have to take a picture. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night. Bye.